welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Saturday, May the 6th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. This year, we're following John MacArthur's devotional book, Drawing Near, Daily Readings for a Deeper Faith. And today's entry is entitled, Gaining Spiritual Stability, in parentheses or brackets, Peter. We read from Matthew chapter 10, verse 2, the 12 apostles included Simon, who is called Peter. Our main thought is Jesus can make an impulsive and vacillating Christian as stable as a rock. Pastor MacArthur writes, the first disciple Matthew's gospel names is Simon, who is called Peter. He was a fisherman by trade, but Jesus called him to be a fisher of men. And that's recorded in John chapter 1, verses 40 to 42, and it records their first encounter. One of the two who heard John the Baptist speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He found first his own brother, Simon, and brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You shall be called Cephas which translated means Peter. Peter means stone. Cephas is its Aramaic equivalent. By nature, Simon tended to be impulsive and vacillating. Apparently, Jesus named him Peter as a reminder of his future role in the church, which would require spiritual strength and stability. Whenever Peter acted like a man of strength, Jesus called him by his new name. When he sinned, Jesus called him by his old name. There's an example in John chapter 21, verses 15 to 17 that I'm going to read. When they'd finished eating, Jesus said, Simon Peter, Simon, to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, he said, you know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my lambs. And Jesus said, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And he said, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And Jesus said, take care of my sheep. The third time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And Peter was hurt because Jesus had said the third time, do you love me? So you can see in his restoration, he refers to him as Simon. In the Gospel of John, Peter is called Simon Peter 17 times. Perhaps John knew Peter so well, he realized he was always drifting somewhere between sinful Simon and spiritual Peter. For the next few days, we will see how Jesus worked with Peter to transform him into a true spiritual rock. It was an amazing transformation, but not unlike what he desires to do in every believer's life. You might not have the same personality as Peter, but the Lord wants you to be a spiritual rock just the same. Peter himself wrote, You also, as living stones, are being built up as a spiritual house for a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. That's in Peter's first letter, 1 Peter 2, verse 5. That occurs as you grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Again, quoting from Peter's second letter, 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 18. So make it your continual aim to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Dear friends, I thank you for spending a few minutes with me listening to uh, Pastor MacArthur's reflections on scripture and the truth of the gospel. I've included his suggestions for prayer and uh, suggestions for further study in the uh, description portion of this video. And I I encourage you to take the time out to pray as he suggests and to take a look at the for further study and things that he suggests you do there too. It will strengthen you and help you in your walk with Christ. Until we can be together again to uh, hear Pastor MacArthur's teaching, and I pray that day will be tomorrow, I bid you go in the peace of the Lord.